Hi there, Dallin with Game Blips. Just wanted to do a little quick video on a service that I came across. Um, give you a little backstory. Uh, J-Boy had an Xbox, an original one, and he uh, didn't want it anymore. So I told him, you know, when you're ready to actually fully get rid of it, uh, give me a call, let me know, I'll take it off your hands. We did a swap for a couple, uh, for an old classic system that I had, uh, and he handed me the Xbox. Uh, the reason why I wanted it is because I wanted to actually convert it over into a uh, media center. Um, did a whole bunch of reading, found out that uh, people that use uh, Vista, like my wife, uh, are having problems converting memory cards and thumb drives and whatnot over into the, uh, the FATX file system. So, uh, doing a little more reading, uh, all the rest of the PCs in my house, uh, they are all Linux machines, and apparently you gotta go and fill out, not fill out, but you gotta re, uh, recompile the kernel, uh, do a lot of, uh, you know, heavy duty rewriting of the system just to get it to work right. I didn't want to do that. So, uh, you know, I kept on reading and reading and reading on the web, and uh, I ran across somebody that actually is running a rental service for uh, older Xboxes and newer ones to do soft mods, which is pretty cool. Uh, what's great about the soft mod is that you don't need any hardware, you don't need to open up the system, you don't need to uh, figure out how to do uh, hot swapping of disks, uh, different things like that. Um, what he does, and it's for a pretty reasonable price, I'll have all the information on, um, on the notes, for a very reasonable price, you can rent a card or rent a card and the game that goes along with it to accomplish the soft mod. Um, pretty neat stuff. Um, his name's uh, Emmanuel Ramos. And he's uh, out of uh, looks like uh, Massachusetts, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'll put all that stuff on the uh, on the show notes and everything. Uh, so really, all you need, well, all I need, I already had. I went out and I sp spent a whopping dollar ninety nine on this ratted out case, but inside the case, it's not in there. <laughs> what's in, what was supposed to be inside the case? It's actually in the Xbox right now. Is a copy of the original Splinter Cell, and uh, that has some software in there for Linux actually go figure that Linux people can't do this Linux mod. Um, but there's a, there's a copy of Linux on there that allows you to circumvent the actual uh, hard drive locks and get all this other stuff in there. But what he does is he sends you another DVD case with nothing but, or with the game, uh, just a memory card. But it's got all the stuff you need on here, and um, this is not rehearsed. I'm going to actually do this live-ish, you know, for the recording on uh, how well this works. So, without further ado, I'm going to spin the camera around, get things going, and uh, we will see the soft mod happen in real time. Okay, so uh, as I'm leaning over things, here we are. I've got my Xbox controller. I've got the memory card that uh, Manuel sent. I'm going to go ahead and insert this here. Clicked right in. Uh, before I swung it around, I wanted to show off that I am using a copy of Splinter Cell. Uh, I just, so I took it out of my system. And here we go, I'm going to power this up. Drop my game in. I'm supposed to go and start my game. And it's supposed to work, which it didn't. Well, let me pause the camera real quick. I'm going to go into my memory for the system. I'm going to get rid of my uh, my save there, and I'll see what happens with the uh, one of the memory cards. So hold on. Okay, I think I might have figured it out. Um, 
I uh, went and checked out the memory files on this on the uh, memory card here, and it looks as though I may have needed to copy the files over the hard drive first. We'll soon find out. I just did that, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the game back in, and let's see what happens. Yeah, I know we've seen this Aha! It says Linux. Okay, here we go. So we got the EEPROM back up. It's so happy. basic install. to jacking up a nice good clean Xbox. <laughs> it's kind of a fun jab though is that this seems to be right and any other time you've seen any remaining time on a uh, on anything Microsoft related that's usually way off. <laughs> going to take a little while and if I'm going to put this on YouTube I need some time so I'll be right back. Okay it looks like I actually got it working. Um, I've got the Evolution X uh, dashboard going on here. Um, not really going to mess around with it too much on uh, on this video. I'll have more information on it later and uh, there we go. Looks like it was a pretty easy install. Um, really all I was just waiting for was just the uh, all those progress bars to go ahead and go all the way through and do the mod. Uh, pretty painless. It's pretty awesome and simple. Um, as you can see, it's pulled up a, uh, an IP address for my local network. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I could probably send information over to the um, over to the Xbox using FTP and stick on some applications and emulators and whatnot. So there we are. That's it. Again, this is Dallum with Game Blips, and uh, we'll see you later.